What? Is my hair really look like that? <laughs> no. That looks so like that. <laughs> And we are, as most people know us, the, the sisters. sisters. Sometimes we are the twins, but we're not actually twins. We're twins. I don't think we look like twins. We're the twins who are like five years apart. Five. Don't age me. <laughs> My God. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so today, today what we got for you is a little behind the scenes of an OnlyFans shoot. I do cosplay stuff and a little lingerie. Lingerie is fine. Don't judge me, don't come at me. It's lingerie. It's like well, no well, different than a bikini. We'll blur out what needs to be parts. blurred out. It is what it is. Anyways, this is a way to make money during a pandemic. And this, girl, it made <clears throat> some money. This one lost her job. As a lot of my, a lot of you know that. She lost her job lost at it. Starbucks. I lost it. And I don't feel bad, cause fuck the siren, fuck the siren. You know, I still work the there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. As a way to make ends meet, started with OnlyFans so she could do the photography and I could do the modeling. Yeah. The last model, it was only $7. But uh, that's another story if you want to hear oh, that. Oh, but the quality work I did, she's a good photographer. And also, she's a dancer, so she knows how to pose the models if they don't know how to. OnlyFans is a lot different than a regular modeling. It is going to be more along the lingerie model. But that's the beauty of it. OnlyFans is like, you don't have to be a professional model. You can be a model that, you know, is not professional. Maybe you're looking into getting into modeling. This is the step in the door because you can finally get comfortable with the camera. This is a different deal where you are paying the photographer. You're not walking into a modeling agency, so you can do it. Anyone can do it. And I get to shape your body in all kinds of ways. <laughs> yes, shape my body in all kinds of ways. I was trying to imitate what you did. Also, I hope you like my hair. We actually are filming this intro after we did all the shoots today. So if enjoy. you can guess what this look is before we start the video, comment uh, down below. Yeah, if you do, if you guess what this look is for and you haven't seen my Snapchats, um, <laughs> We'll send you a free sticker. And a crisp high five. What? <laughs> it's a Deadpool joke, okay? <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's go. Look at the behind the scenes of my little OnlyFans shoots. And if you guys like this, we can do more. Wait, but for real, are we going to give them a, a, a free sticker? Oh, yes. So plug, we're making a little sticker business. If you like Animal Crossing, I got a special sticker for you. If you're a goofy person to have a good sense of humor, I really got a sticker for you. Basically we're starting a sticker business and without yeah. giving away too much you should go check out our Etsy and we'll have it linked yes. soon once we get the shop set up and all that I'm not gonna give away what the stickers are I know some of my friends now out there but please don't say it when the stickers come out which we have ordered then whoever guesses correctly will get a free sticker we'll ship it to you we'll mail it to you yes free and enjoy your free st stickers stuckers stickers St sticker sticker just the one <laughs> Cheap ass bitch. I didn't order that many. <laughs> also, 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 sorry for the crummy lighting. Because it's done later in the day, we took down all the lighting. We didn't think to keep any of it up because my dad was gonna have a friend come over. So we didn't really wanna leave the lighting out and have it look like. And we wanted to make it look clean and we also didn't feel like having our room filled with lights. Yeah, okay. I hope you enjoy this. Hopefully this helps you. Leave it there because that's good lighting. Who needs a ring light? Oh my god, just Ooh, use your giant ass TV. Your I was two days years old when I learned you can use your TV as a ring light. <laughs> We're gonna go. Bye bye. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Hi. So we're gonna do a real rushed um, OnlyFans photo shoot right now. We're still kind of finding a flow that works for me because I'm very awkward in front of a camera. As you can see, I don't like being in front of a camera, but I'm gonna do my makeup right now. I'm gonna wash my face. Pray for me. <laughs> Christine's gonna show you how she turns our living room into a little mini set. So Christine's gonna show you how she turns. 
Hello, this is Christine coming in with a studio home setup voiceover. So right now the materials we are using is a backdrop frame and a backdrop because those are different things. Look it up. Um, just kidding. But you can also use double sided sticky tape at your own risk though because it could tear off the paint on your walls and just maybe not hold up. But yeah, so the easy way to get around that is just by using a backdrop frame. Okay, now is your warning. If you are a family or under the age of 18, click out of this video. Like, kindly exit the freaking chat. I just don't want you here. No offense, but like, no. And then make sure to use your lighting. You don't have to use these LED lights that everybody gets because of TikTok, but you can if you want. Um, and as long as you can color correct them, that's all I gotta say. And now we're gonna go ahead and use literally everything in my house that is white. So we're gonna use blankets, we're gonna use curtains, we're gonna use backdrops, and then we're gonna make sure that we use decorations from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree or wherever you wanna get them from. But this one was a themed shoot for the season, so that was kind of, it kind of helps. It helps the model feel the mood and tone more. It's interactive, it's cute, it's fun. That red thing was hideous. It was not supposed to look like that, so we scrapped it because it wasn't cute. So don't feel bad if you change your mind like 50 times during this setup process. It happens especially if you're doing it on the fly because it's a rushed photo shoot and I snap my finger and this voiceover is hard but um anyways so I'm making sure that we're tucking in all the loose ends and fluffing up the bottoms of the curtains so that it creates a like flooding effect using some rose petals create the ambiance and now I'm gonna let Kai take over for the rest of this because we are about to get into the actual photo shoot okay this is your final warning if you are a family or under the age of 18 to click out of this video and I am very very serious I will find out if you did not so good luck hello and I'm sure you've noticed by now that Christine and I actually have different voices we are not the same person yeah now you'll never forget you're welcome but okay as you see here I'm getting into a pose but if you notice, my elbow is too close to my back. So what I'm going to do is push it further back and twist my body. Boom. This pose just did not work. It was ugly. Here, I have gloves, so I'm trying to use them in the photos. Kind of reminds me of Jessica Rabbit. I was struggling a little bit to keep them from sliding down because they're pretty soft, but I think that they added a nice little touch. And here I look like a zombie. Okay, but I tried using a prop. It didn't really turn out good. That's okay. That happens. And Jazz wanted to be a prop as well because he is a little prince and must be in the spotlight constantly. I almost named him Simba. I'm sure you see why. Quick costume change. Okay, here. My shoulder is too high, so Christine directs me to relax it. So I roll it back. That's how I relax my shoulders. I like to do a nice little roll and it helps elongate my neck and just improve my posture altogether. So I had to celebrate my little success right there. I felt pretty happy about that one. <laughs> Here Christine is actually going to show me what pose she is envisioning me doing. She's showing me exactly where to place my foot, my hands, how to rest my shoulder and where to lean. Even the direction I'm supposed to be looking to help make her vision come to life. So here I am getting into the position. I struggle a little bit because I'm a little awkward, but she still directs me where to go. I do have to adjust it a little bit from where she originally told me to sit because my body is a little different than hers. And you know, you know, I'm just built different, so I have to change it up for myself. Do not stress out if the pose does not work for you. Move on. It's going to happen more times than you'd like to admit. Right here, these shoes just were not working. It didn't look right with the outfit, so we had to move on and use them more of a background prop instead. But to be honest, I like the story it kind of gave this photo.
Use your muscles. You're going to need to stay strong, squeeze your muscles, and hold poses quite often while also somehow being relaxed. It is very hard. As you see, I got bored, tired, and distracted here. It happens. Also, try to have reference photos you know, poses that you like. I was showing them to Christine to see which ones she thought would look good on me. I chose ones I thought looked good, but I wanted to make sure she thought they looked good too. So we're gonna go ahead and change up this scene a little bit. We're gonna have Kai standing, but I wanted to remind you photographers out there to go ahead and actually use the props and make sure that they're interactive because that's kind of what the intention is. We're supposed to highlight these props at some point. All right, if you guessed it, it's your lucky day. You get a free sticker. I am the OF Harley Quinn. That is right, the OF Harley Quinn, but it is my version of it, so enjoy. Okay, this part was cracking us up, but check out the results. It's not that bad. It's kind of cool. We want to do something a little different, and we had fun doing it. <laughs> so much a motherfucker! Ow! Fuck! Okay. <laughs> hey, back to your knee. We'll take a man down. That's my bad knee. Fuck. Shit. Garbage. I didn't want to confuse you photographers, but I'm using an expo disc, so that's what you see on my camera lens. Hey, Puddin, what's poppin'? Wow! It's like magic! <laughs> well, how'd you like this shoot? I hope you liked it. So that's the kind of shoot that Christine and I do together. So we'll do lingerie, but we will try and do some type of cosplay mm -hmm. theme along with it because that's what I'm comfortable with and I have fun with it. I know some people want to have OnlyFans advice, tips. Now, I'm not like super expert on OnlyFans. That's my oven, I'm baking. But we could always, always do something like that too. So let us know. Put a comment down there. Hit us up. This is kind of like a vlog, but it's tips. more a behind the scene. The other one would be more like a sit in front, just talk and chat and be like, okay, questions, answers, Oh questions, my God, answers. yes, wait. So the next video. Q&A. Oh. The next video is a Q&A for OnlyFans, <laughs> which is gonna be her doing the video. I'll be behind the camera though, because but, you know. But. Q&A. No, 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 there might be photography questions too. Okay, so put your models questions and then put photography questions. All right. And okay. then just comment them down below. And we'll make sure to do it on social media as well so we can get the most. <laughs> when we have like 12 people watching us right now. You 12 people are the most amazing fucking people out there. Just so you know. It's true. Now we're gonna go watch All the Boys I Love because it just freaking came out. <gasps> and oh, oh my God, I'm strawberry. Just get the strawberry. We got chocolate covered strawberry. It's ten dollars for the whole thing. Okay. Bam! Bam! Okay, we're okay, really bye. hyper. Bye. <laughs>